Welcome back, fellow tamers. Shaking Willick speaking, and we have a good start in our quest today. So apparently, out of two of the quests that I got off of Karata this time, I was only able to return one this time. So truth about black gears. We got one M out of that. And to deal with Leomon's fangs, well, I guess we're going to have to make a U-turn once again just to go after the tracker Leomon. So, <laughs> Karada is that evil. Collect new Evelings. I guess we're going to have to go back through the Dogemon again. I think. Um, I, th uh, I think I need to collect data about the new Evelings. I am sure I, or it can speed up my research. Uh, bring me 10 new Evelings. You can get them from the Digimon in this area. So it doesn't have to be Doggymon. It can be any Digimon. And I guess since I have to hunt for the fangs that I need, I'll be going after the Leomon tracker for the time being. And if you are new to the chat or my stream period, there is a group chat in the uh, settings above. All you have to do is click that option up there and it will drop down a menu, select D or DMO Steam Stream you'll be entering the group chat with us. So if you enter the group chat, you'll be for sure entering the stream. So keep that in mind. Now off to questing. We have 10 Evelings to find along with one Leomon Tracker Fang. And I forgot to pick up some more vitamin A's while I was back there too. Oops. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, I love these shorts. I can't believe that I got so lucky enough to get flame shorts. They look awesome. Okay, so, Leomon Tracker. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't get anything. Except for beast data. Possibly. Nope. But I did get a summons fighting a Doggymon and I got Gigasmon. Which is nice. Because Gigasmon is one of the toughest earth elements out there. Especially if you're looking for a spirit. Um, so... My brother can't join us today. He's currently working, and as you can tell, I'm now working. <laughs> so, yeah, that's two. And I'm hunting for eggs, spirits, and data. Leomon seals. Data. No fangs. Oh, poo. Aha! Found a fang. Nope, black gear. Yeah, I'll just slide that up there. And we did get a fang. Just not right away. Poor Leomon out in the wilderness. At the wrong place at the wrong time. He didn't know he was going to be our target today. Cracked eggs for the world. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Since we got what we needed from Leomon. 
How about we uh, hit Gladymon for right now? Don't you dare hit us. Thank you. Or Gabumon for that matter. We can hunt for some eggs while we work. I'm up for a good farming session. You know you can't hit me without a consequence. Pop quiz. Where did the phrase la le lu le lo come from? Black gear. Whoops. No, oh, mercenary card. Whose card is it? Lots of mercenary summoning card. No, Mercury Mon summoning card. Okay. That works too. So we got two summoning or spirits today. That's cool. Though I wasn't actually counting on getting Mercury Mon right away. But I will need about 15 archives for all the Digimon I'm about to hatch. Neo Evelyn. So that's two. Um, yeah. For those that didn't know, um, I was working on a project in Lusamon server since 2013. Um, the idea I wrote down in 2007 was that I was going to collect all the Royal Knights if a game such as this ever came up. And I have. In fact, for more additional uh, sections of Digimon came uh, into the collection which was Archangels, Sovereigns, and I guess you can say Dark Masters. I need to get more vitamin eggs. I just ran out. And uh, the reason why I selected the Dark Masters is because of Betamon. And Betamon was the only one that I wanted until somebody uh, brought up the fact that you know, the Dark Masters, uh, they have a certain burst mode. Everybody should know as Apoclamon. And Kuramon has a burst mode called Armageddon. And those two in combination could possibly win against Alphamon and uh, Paladin mode. And a, or a single fight. I disagreed on two reasons. One, they didn't take into consideration of attribute abilities and what may come of timing and um, power cost and whatnot. There's like a lot of equations to consider. And those equations were never met, so without having the proper data needed to uh, perform the PvP uh, ideal, we'll never know. So I said because of uh, both Apoclamon and um, Armageddon being dark types, their attributes would reduce their attacks by two points. And being that light is a lot stronger than darkness, well, Alphamon and Paladin would win those fights altogether. Not only because they're royals, but because of the fact that they have 
a lot to consider than the two darklings that he sided with. So that being said, and whoops, I have to go back for more. I thought I would take in all four Dark Masters and raise one Apoclemon to a certain power extent and clone them all the highest I possibly can with the attributes that I had, plus high powered rings and items and such, that I would at least try to run the math myself without the PvP system running right, at, right now and see what I come up with. But considering how everything was going at 30 miles per minute, well, let's just say that I didn't get very far. Whoops. Yeah, I need money. And now I need vitamin A. And, uh, yeah, I'll need 15 archives because, well, 14 because I already have one open. I'll need 14 archives because I need to hatch all the royal Digimon. I need to hatch the sovereign Digimon and the archangel Digimon. Which, of course, in my book, that's only three archangels, four sovereigns, and 12 to 13 royals. Okay. Here we go. Aha. Wow, I'm almost at 20 already. Hmm. I believe, I believe, I believe that I'm a believer. Hey, without a trace, without a mind. Rising Destroyer. Hmm. Who else feels bad that they took out the skill break ability? I miss those days. In fact, I think whenever I was in the maze entrance, the only one I used that on was... Um... I can't think of it. Okay. Gallantmon. Because he was using F2. And I was hitting space, no, not space, shift and control while hitting F2 to skill break. And I did it one time, one time before they went back and fixed that gap in the breaking section. I was feeling proud about doing it too, because it was the first time I ever did something like that. But now they've deleted it all together. Whoops. Um, let's see, where are we at with the... Never mind! Timing sucks for everything. Um, so I'm almost at level 20 already. Might as well do up a lot of quests in the western region. Or, yeah, western region.
Can I talk today? 1999. What was I looking for? 10 evidence. So I gotta look for 10 black gears. There's one. <laughs> now I gotta find five more. Hello, Doc. Selling Boko books. Two terrors and five hundred ounce. Two left. Good luck with that. Um. Forty-five dollars for ten books. Hmm. Forty-five dollars for ten Pokemon books. Okay. Whoops. No. I don't have money for it right now. I wish I had forty-five dollars. Wowzer. Jen Rima. So most cases, I am so happy that everything goes up to a stack of 500s. I just wish that they would have done the same for Team King will never ask for your ID or password. Please do not fail or fall into false websites. Thank you for pointing that out. Because there were times that, you know, people would be so confused into letting that happen. Joymax never thought about coming up with a warning like that. So I'm glad they actually figured out how to, or, yeah, when to make a notice of that. So thank you, Game King. You're awesome. You did it again. <laughs> Yeah, there are false sites like goldsomething.com and so on and so forth. People are at Dat Center creating uh, false accounts, making numerous of websites, trying to get you to... We don't need that, I guess. You have wings. Yeah, trying to get you to give them your password and other information out. And they're giving you so much time to stay logged out of your account until they actually, uh, as they say, putting something into your account that you requested. That never happens. 
when you come back into your account you're going to realize all of your valuables have been taken all because you gave your or gave your information away so whenever you go to that center just ignore every single one of those sites and just block the person that is um, forever uh, posting that link I just wish those accounts could be banned by IP you'll never see or my IP on those things I never put anything like that up to begin with because you, you, you know me as of right now I'm farming uh, on my own terms I don't need a bot or having some hack website just to get what I want that's monotonous it's crazy and it doesn't work <sighs> no I stay away from things like that um, if anything you guys need something just let me or somebody in my guild know and we'll try to help you out as much as possible um, other than that we might have a shop that sells items in a cheap price like uh, Pokemon books uh, spirits no shining spirits mind you because we don't have the time to uh, rustle up the spirits and turn them to 99 Whoops. I almost lost you there. Four more, I believe. Yeah, Game King is finally boosting up on their targeting uh, viewers or targeting players um, if you're the type that works hard for your own things like say if you wanted data you'd be farming it for yourself there's a list of or ways to get it like beast data and whatnot um, if you wanted to you can get it cheap at that center uh, depend depending on who you're buying it from because if you're getting it from people who are charging way up the wazoo for it you're not going to get very much in fact it just might be that you'll have to uh, get it yourself because people who are farming data they're charging way too much these days so I'll have a list of places to go farm for easy data like for instance easy dragon data you'll probably get like double the amount scanned if you get it from Gilmon and that's over in the glacier area first town actually um, so if you scan ranked one data from Gilmon you'll probably end up with uh, one bit 2-bit, 3-bit data uh, through one scan of data. And that's just through every passing second. So, uh, if you're looking for cheap dragon data, go over to the Gilmon section. They drop a lot. And as far as Beast goes, well, MC5 is where it's at. I have numbers of farming zones listed. I just don't know if I put them all on my website or not. I have to figure it out and then check and recheck and probably put in an entry of it. 
Ooh, somebody went. Oh, that was me. I went to level 18. Cool. Okay, I just need two more of those done. I can't see through your big gun, uh, Grandma. That was close. One more. Aha! There we go. Nope. Never mind. Thought I had it. Then I lost it. Nope. Why do you gotta be so hard? Ah, there it is. Whoops. Don't want that. You didn't see anything. Shh. Alright. After I hand these in, I gotta cut the segment here, and then we'll be right back for a short, short break. Then we get to talk some more again. Alright. So, if you like what you've seen here, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will be right back. Don't go anywhere.